it is a writing vlog, which means it is the time of month where I need to write my AU story for Patreon. And this, this one's going to be fun because the month for June, the month of June, we, <laughs> I was in a hyper specific mood because I wanted to write steam. And of course it's June, so why not make it gay? And so patrons voted and they are going to get the long awaited three-way scene between Farah, Elias, and Brayla. And this one is like, it's going to be interesting because I have written, <laughs> I think this is my, it actually might be my first time writing more than two partners together. Um, it's not the first one that I've like conceived in terms of, but it might be the ones, the first ones that I've like written. And the interesting part is like, so this is a polyamorous relationship. So like everybody is with everybody. It's not like one character with one and one character with the other, which it has been in the past. So, you know, these, these characters we know and love, um, when we meet them in the curse of broken shadows, it is, they like they've already been together for a while and it's very clear that they have a poly polyamorous relationship and all three of them are together with each other but what we find in the prequel story is that they actually like Brayla finds Farah first okay. and they are together and then she finds Elias and they are together but they have not been together all three of them yet and so I think the scene that I'm going to write is their first um interaction together um in an intimate way uh and so it's going to be very very interesting because you know a lot of the a lot of the polyamorous relationships that like I've seen specifically in fiction and um yeah, I think that has our address on it. So we should, oh, it doesn't. Okay, you can, you can play. <laughs> so like a lot of the fiction polyamorous relationships that I have, and I could be wrong, but what I have specifically been exposed to is just either male, male, female, um, or it's a reverse harem. And so that means there's one female and multiple males. And so this one is going to be interesting because I have not yet found a polyamorous relationship that is two females and one male where like the FFM, um, I, I believe that's the code for it, but all of them are together. And so it's, you know, I mean, Brayla is kind of like the instigator here. She is the, um, the main character in, in all of these books and everything. And so even though Farah and Elias are like side characters they're very like they're not really side they they do have their own main um storyline and everything and so it's going to be interesting writing this scene because i like i'm going to have to go in and like there's the i have not had exposure to uh female female male and so it's going to be interesting because like i know how their relationship works i know how they work as characters and their personalities and everything so i know exactly how this whole thing is going to play out my, I think maybe my concern, it, even though like this is, it, it, it is a real scene in the story. So it's not necessarily an alternate universe. This is an actual scene that has happened. And, and I've, you know, conceived it. It's, I've had this in my head for a while, but now actually getting it on paper, I'm really hoping that I do it justice, not just to the characters, but to um, anybody who has that sort of relationship because I think that's super important in fiction and and even though you know when when you're writing these characters who um Brayla is the more I write Brayla the more I'm kind of thinking she is you know a little bit more curious than um bisexual and so I think I think for her it, it's very interesting to to kind of write her and, and Farah who are they are both bisexual um Elias is straight and I have some other characters who are um gay I have a an asexual and a romantic character um that he's always been this way but he it like it doesn't really come out because he's not necessarily the the main focus he will have a role to play especially in the third book um but right now he's you know he's a very side character um but he's had time on the page and everything and so 
it, it's very interesting to to kind of bring this I've not seen it in fiction and so I really really hope that not only can I do the characters justice but also just do this sort of relationship justice um, because it's obviously not something that I am familiar with um, and so I am I am writing their love and I am writing their intimacy and even though it makes sense to me and it makes sense to the characters, I obviously do not have firsthand experience with this. And so I'm, I am really hoping to go into this. I, uh, this, I thought that last month writing, um, Elias and Corinne, who, if you're a patron, you understand who these characters are. Um, um, both of these characters. And I thought that was going to be the seamiest thing that I've ever written. And I, when Brayla is involved in an intimate scene and a spicy scene, it's going to get real good. <laughs> she, uh, she will unleash, especially, um, with Elias and Farah, who, you know, they've grown to love each other. And, and this is, you know, their exploration and discovery of something just a little bit more. And so I know that this will definitely top the, the spicy scene. <laughs> It's not weird, honestly, talking about this in front of my baby who can't understand anything. Maybe when I'm older, I'm just going to have to, like, lock her away when I start recording things and writing these scenes. But it's going to be fun because I'm going to have to write some of this in the same room as my mother. Um, we're going to be going over there to, to get some babysitting and just hang out with her after she's been gone for a few days. And so uh, it's going to be interesting writing this in front of my mom. like sh she knows what I write and everything but it's just gonna be kind of funny to <laughs> be in the same room as my mother while I'm writing this scene but it, sh it should still be fun so I'm looking forward to it I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it's going to be fun breezed through that it was really easy to write which I was not expecting like how easy it was to like get the dynamics and everything I mean I know these characters so well so I guess like I should have seen that coming but oh my goodness that is the steamiest thing I've ever written and I'm actually like it's pretty dang good so like w when it comes to first drafts I'm actually quite impressed I did one one read through and and fixed a couple words here and there but I'm I there's I'm gonna have to put this somewhere because it's like besides Patreon so if you guys are interested in reading this um you can sign up for my Patreon there is a free trial available so if you are interested in just checking it out testing it out this does come out at the end of um what month is this June so it comes out at the end of June. So if you guys are interested in reading this, then definitely go check it out. Uh, it's going to be, it. it's very, very good. And I'm really excited about it. And I'm going to have to find a way to, uh, I, I will probably be sending this to my newsletter subscribers too. So if you're interested in joining my newsletter, uh, definitely go check that out. Um, the links are all down below. Violet is trying to give you guys a pen, a writing utensil that... That's wide out, actually. So, um, please enjoy this. Uh, was it focuses on her 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Well, definitely go check that out on Patreon and I will see you guys next time.